Welcome back, humble traders. Today I'll be doing a technical breakdown on XPeng, ticker symbol XPEV. If you're new to the channel, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as you greatly help out with the channel. To also note that I do not provide any buy or sell calls, but I fo focus mainly on the potential traps laid out by the market makers. Without further ado, let's take a look at XPeng. So this is the first time I'm analyzing this stock. And you can see that uh, there were some actually some bear traps here. So to just give you a bit of context, uh, usually supports are, uh, um, this, you can see that this was a previous uh, support uh, back sometime in uh, 2021. You can see that this support here. So what market makers are love to do is that they'll break this support here because most of the majority of the um, retail investors would likely put their stock losses just below these uh, support levels here. So you can see that uh, most of the um, um, uh, stock losses get triggered here and then the stock go back up. So this is a very typical uh, manipulation by the market makers. So um, similarly, again, we had this um, a very similar manipulation done by the uh, big boys. You can see that the previous support here, this low here, did not hold. So once again, majority of the retail investors will be putting their stop losses just below it. So you can see that it actually happened just for uh, two days. So two days is uh, uh, totally enough for the, um, for the um, retail investors to cut their losses and to panic sell. So you panic sell at the low and then um, boom, the stock goes back up. So this is a very typical um, sign of manipulation is to never put your stock losses just below critical support levels. So yeah, let's move on to um, the daily charts of Xpeng and get into a more serious uh, business. So Xpeng, you can see that... Um, uh, Xpeng is actually uh, uptrending. Uh, okay, still on a downtrend, but on the daily charts, it seems like it's an up, uh, uptrending. And it may seem like it's going to break out anytime. And if you do break, break out, where exactly are my potential resistance? So the first resistance that this Xpeng has to clear is actually this particular resistance here. At around um, 30, uh, 30, 20, 25 to about 30, 60. You can see that uh, this was a previous uh, resistance here. And not forgetting, it was also a resistance here. So just about three days ago, you can see that Xpeng actually went back up above breaking this um, uh, strong resistance. But in the end, it, it fell back down once again. So this is a sign of a, a fake breakout. Fake breakout is usually what happens is that the market makers try to push uh, the stock above the stock, um, this particular strong resistance. And breakout traders will come in, or those people who put their stop losses, uh, those who are shorting and put their stop losses here, they had to buy back their positions and thereafter the market makers will push it down. Similar to the one where the strong support was below, they deliberately break down this strong support and thereafter um, flip it back up. So it's a, a very similar um, case. So moving forward, where exactly is the next resistance if uh, Xpeng is able to clear this, uh, this uh, strong 30, 20, 20 days um, resistance. So you can see that this was the first wave up here and potentially in the event that Xpeng can break out, then we may potentially see an uh, upside of around um, 33, $34. So Xpeng may potentially go up to 30, 33, 34. So that is a, a potential upside and potential target, short-term target for Xpeng. May potentially go up to as high of high 33 or around low 34s. So that is the first um uh that is the target for Xpeng. But before that, of course, we also need to clear this uh $32 psychological uh, resistance as well, because this thing will uh will, uh affect uh, Xpeng quite a bit. And um obviously you can see that Xpeng supports where are the potential supports for Xpeng? You can see that Xpeng found some support here at this um uh, uh, red baseline, we acts a good support. And you can see that uh, Xpeng uh, about five days ago, uh, you also found some good support here. So you can see that previous resistance here has now turned support, which is a, a very good sign of an uptrend. You want to form a higher, higher highs and higher lows. So that is a good sign. So now um, uh, currently Xpeng is trading around 29.19. So in the event that we do break down, uh, this, this um, blue line, which is the conversion line, acts as a good support and it's currently hovering around uh, 2852. So 2850, is a, is, it will be a good support for Xpeng. But in the event that we do um, pull back down lower, then I'm looking at this um, red baseline at around 2727. 27. So this will act also as a good support or potential adding positions uh, for Xpeng. So 2727 27 and also uh, around 2860, these two are potential supports for Xpeng. And then in the event that we are able to clear this uh, 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 30, 20, then we may potentially hit 34 with 32 as a potential resistance to clear for export. Um, 
if you look at the MACD, MACD is still pointing up. It's a good, it's, it's still uptrending and the momentum is still there. You can see that after it crossed over, uh, the blue line has not cut below the orange line once again. You can see that potentially the, the stock may drift sideways for quite a while. And when we finally punch up, this cloud here will act as a resistance that we may potentially face. So around 32, 34 do expect some resistance uh, along uh, those areas. So yeah, uh, if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe as you keep the channel intact. Leave a comment below if you have any other stock tea requests to meet again. I appreciate the manipulation.